of last year was really challenging with lupus, all sorts going on. And I'm figuring out my medication with the doctor still. So there's some days that are still a bit harder than others, but I'm back in the gym, I'm able to see my friends again and move about, which is just, I don't think you realise until something's taken away from you how much you take it for granted. Just being able to go for a walk and a jog and back in the gym, it's great for not just my physical health, but my mental health. And working with the rheumatologists, they've been amazing. Everyone presents differently with lupus, so it's really difficult to find one size fits all medication. So it's just going through a mix of steroids and then there's like three or four other med medications they use. And we're just trying to find my balance, but at the moment, I'm good and my goal is to get into remission for as long as I can because I have spoken to a lot of women with lupus that have gone in remission for 15 years so I'm manifesting it. I thought you know there was so many different factors going on in my life at one time. I had a lot of stress. My dad had died just the year before and there were so many things going on. I'd had a ruptured implant on my old boobs and then I got some new ones put in and that also, I think, may have contributed toward me getting sick. So there were so many factors which would end up giving someone lupus, you know, and autoimmune issues that I just started to remove all the factors. Two of them things, <laughs> two of those things were things that would go here and I've had them, I've had implants since I was 18. So for me it's a big change and I'm still trying to get used to it. I don't for one minute think I'm happy about it but I'm, you know, I'm just listening to my body and what it needs and the more I do that hopefully the better I'll get. I don't like not having my boobs, I think I got so used to them. Um, it, it has taken a lot of getting used to and it's scary. Yeah. Um, especially for self-confidence. Yeah. There's so many women that have had to have this procedure, whether it be because of the same reasons as me or for cancers, breast cancer. And, you know, I'm just trying to be confident in it. And, you know, there's a lot of women out there that kind of have groups online and you build each other up. And, you know, women got to stick together on these things. <laughs> I will see, I'll talk to some doctors, but at the moment, right now, I've just got to focus on keeping healthy and healing. I had a challenging year and then the opportunity arose to go over to the Ukraine with Emergency Ukraine Charity and take over hospital aid to the hospitals that were you know, helping the, the victims of war. And we drove through, all through Europe, that was the, the crazy part anyway, driving through, staying in crazy hotels in Germany and all the way to the Polish border and then over to the Ukraine border, but that's when it got a bit serious and I was seeing young men coming in from the front lines and you could see the buildings exploded and it, it was really, you see these things on the television and it's almost like you disconnect because you watch films with this kind of stuff going on, but when you're there, it really hits home. I think I had goosebumps nearly every night, the air raid, air raid sirens would go off. What I did notice is that the people of the Ukraine are so resilient, they're going about their normal lives, even when the sirens are going off, they're just going about their normal lives. I saw kids skipping down the street and I sometimes find in the moments of like real tragedy, that's when humanity comes together. And although there's the part that isn't and that's caused all this, there's also the part where people just want to help strangers and that gives me hope for everything in the future when you see that. And I think after any kind of tragedy, you often see like groups of people coming together and it just gives you that warm feeling that, oh, we might be all right as a species. <laughs> it all made it worth it. When we got to the hospitals and the doctors would come out, they were so relieved and so grateful to be receiving. It was like catheters, it was wheelchairs, it was drips, it was needles, everything they were running out of because of what's going on. It really just, um, it just made me feel like I was valued and I was worth something to be helping other people. I, I kind of felt when I got home, I, I was it's like a, I've been burst balloon because I've been so high alert and you know just working to get these, you know, the hospital equipment to the hospitals and. I felt like I'd really done something good, but I kind of had, it was like, when I got home, I was like, okay, what now? And I, then I wanted to do it again, but my mum would kill me because she didn't speak to me for a week when I was out there, so <laughs> she was livid. Yeah, 
I'm just auditioning because I got sick, it kind of took a back burner, which was a shame because after strike, I thought, let's go, and then it just went, oh, now you're sick. <laughs> but I'm back now, I'm back auditioning. Um, I did panto at the end of the year, which was really challenging because that's when I was at a height of quite, like my lupus was really bad. I ended up in A&E twice during panto um, with a resting heart rate of 137. So I was in A&E twice, but I got back up and I got back on stage, like I kept going. No, I didn't miss a single show, I just kept going. I'd take Tramadol, get on the stage, and the, my, my um, cast and crew were great because they were just pulling me through. Even if I had, had to take in painkillers like Tramadol and I was kind of away with the fairies, they, they were just pulling me through to where I needed to be. So we got it done and it was great. And then yeah, we've got a new series potentially filming in a couple of months. Um, which will be great. We're just waiting for the green lights. So I'll tell you about that soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then back on the audition. So starting stronger this year. I just love being someone else sometimes. I think, I don't know if that's just a, an actor's thing or there's something, <laughs> I'm a bit weird, I don't know. But it's, <laughs> it's fun just going in and becoming someone else for a while. I'm looking forward to just getting back to, back on stage, back on TV. <laughs>